Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. I am Shy, I am the host of this channel. <laughs> in my knitting podcast I would say I'm a witch and I knit and I do other crafty things. Uh, this is not a knitting podcast video, uh, this is an art video. This is a bit of an introduction, I guess, to what you can barely see on my screen, which toba, which is um, what I'm doing instead of Inktober for the month of October. I know this is not this is not my like original concept, but I've been doing Witchtober for a number of years instead of Inktober because I'm a witch and I like to draw witches. <laughs> I also like to put together my own list, which I've done this year as well. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about that, a little bit about kind of how I've done my own Witchtober and so yeah, so you have info in case you want to join in on my Witchtober challenge which will be hosted over on Instagram on my art account which is shia.art uh, I think it will have some sort of like place on my regular account as well which is Shia but mainly on my art insta so uh, you can go there and follow and yeah so what I will do for my Witchtober is there's four weeks, right? <laughs> October can kind of bleeds over in, in the week before and the week after the four weeks that are like God, I can't explain things on servers. If you're new to my channel, if this is your first video, this is this is the kind of case we have here. If you like it, please stick around. <laughs> but anyway, so I have I'm gonna have to look a little bit on my screen because that's where I have all the info. I haven't really saved this. This is still a work in progress. I have a week to go. We're fine. <laughs> so for week one, we have from the third to the ninth. Then we have from the tenth to the sixteenth, to the seventeenth, to the twenty-third, and of course. The 24th to the 30th, but uh, feel free to start sketching before or keep uploading after. So how I'm doing this, for week one we have a theme and then we have a bunch of prompts. That does not mean you have to draw every single prompt. You can draw one prompt, you can draw all the prompts in one picture, you can pick two, three, do all of them, whatever you fancy. And you can do small doodles, you can do elaborate pictures, you can paint, you can draw digitally, you can do ink if you want, if you want to cross over with Inktober, totally fine, whatever floats your boat. You could even write something if you want. Like this is a creativity challenge to be creative and whatever is your creative outlet, go for it. I'd love to see it. So for week one, I'm going to quickly breeze through. Um, my themes to get us a little bit hyped up for it so we can get some ideas already and maybe start sketching. I know I will sketch before starting because otherwise I will be a mess and I have so many things going on. So um, yeah, <laughs> let's talk about the themes. So week one we have school life because I like to base my witchy characters that I like to draw around some sort of witchy school. At some point I kind of want to make some sort of comic or a story about it, but I've had, I've had this bit of a universe in my head around this for a long time, so I'm basing it around that. But anyway, school life. So we have prompt like school uniform, bag like what's in your bag, charms for studying, we have homework, dormitory, we have familiar and hobbies. Those are the prompts I have so far. I might put in a few more. Like I said you don't have to draw all of them and you don't have to pop all of them into one picture. You can draw as many pieces as you want. Don't be daunted by the amount of words. It's, it's just there for inspiration. So for week two we have plants and the uses. Magical uses or regular uses? Uh, or maybe juices. I don't know. Up to you. <laughs> that's not prompt though but I might put it in I that's it. But here we have potions, we have cooking, we have incense, flower crown, we have mushrooms, we have dye for your hair, for your fabric, for your yarn, whatever you want to dye. And we have herbarium, maybe some pressed flowers? I don't know, we'll see. For week three, we have divination, which is so exciting to me. <laughs> we have prompts like tarot, 
tassiography, we have crystals, runes, pendulum, bones and meditation. So you can put in some shadow work if you want, you can do whatever you feel like. And for week four, finally we have shadows gather because it's the spookiest week, well almost because the 31st is the week after, but still it's Halloween week and we all know what that means, extra spook. Here we have things and prompts like omen, ashes, ritual, pumpkin carving, because why not, it's Halloween week, wisp, lantern, bonfire and curse. So those are the prompts I've got. Just to get some little bit of hype going, I thought I'd talk a little bit about it and share my prompts so you can get get going with your planning and thinking and maybe sketching. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. So my plan also for this is I'm going to do a video maybe each week or every two weeks, depends on how busy I'll be. Anyway, I'm really excited to start this and to work on some witchy stuff. Hope you are too. So the way you can enter this, it's not a competition, but if you tag me, I'll share your pictures and stuff in my stories on Instagram and I'll make a little highlight for it. So feel free to tag me, like I said, on shire.art or shire and also use the hashtag shirewitchtober22 to be featured as well. I'll be following that hashtag and liking everything. And like I said, use as many as you want per week. You don't have to draw everything. I know it's a lot of prompts. You can draw multiple prompts in one picture or just one for one picture, or you can do five, two, whatever you feel like. There's no limit. There's no upper or, well, you kind of have to draw one, two, like be in the challenge, but there's also no requirement to draw every week. Just, just have fun. Like I said, it's not a competition, just here to have fun, share some art, look at each other's art, get some witchy community going, I guess. It's fun. So yeah, that, that's about that for rules. Will you be joining? I hope so. Hope to see your pictures or whatever you make with the prompts. I will wrap this up now because I've been rambling for a very long time and I will see you again in another video. I hope to see your art, I hope you are as excited as I am for this and yeah, let's let's get Witchtober going in a week. <laughs> so if you'd like to see what I get up to with my Witchtober videos or other videos I will post on this channel which will be art, it will be some vlogs like crafting vlogs and also maybe just like vlogs and also my knitting podcast if you're into knitting I do talk a little bit about art, I do also talk about crochet and spinning and recently manga. <laughs> so I talk about all kinds of things on there, it's it's a bit of a longer video. In case you're new to this video, I'll just explain what my knitting podcast is. A bit longer videos talking about the things I make. So anyway, if you'd like to keep seeing that, consider clicking the subscribe button and also the little bell notification so you get notified when I upload. Uh, like the video, comment something like if you're joining, what your favourite prompt is, have you done Inktober before, <laughs> whatever you feel like telling me about this theme. <laughs> so yeah, and I will see you again very very soon. Have a wonderful time and yeah, see ya! Bye!